I'm back, the investor guy. Making money, make money. That's my thing. Thanks for, you know, showing up. Just want to get into the awesome quote from Bo Jackson. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. This literally is the foundation to all my success. For me, not being able to read as well as most to being a very studious and well-read individual having a dictionary like my grandfather uh, shared with me as a kid and you know reading books getting headaches not understanding the words getting tired and then reading the dictionary word for word what does the word mean and now i am where i am because i set a high goal you know from uh when i first started out and i'm here and you can do the same across time and space i believe in you i appreciate you thanks for showing up if you can like share comment anything you do costs you nothing means the world to me it's priceless i'm gonna go over today a day in the life of a business coach just a little drop that will be a series a watch list or a playlist rather that will be featured on this channel um, moving forward you know in the future we'll set up a time for that creating cash flow using leverage and of course moon rat paying out finance uh, token and pretty much how the market operates let's get into that so as a business coach you know it is something that I strive to empower and impact other people that impact people. And it's really amazing, you know, when you think about this nation was, was founded on entrepreneurialism, success, you know, business, enterprise, being able to, you know, feed your family, take care of the community. All these things come from enterprising men and women, neighbors, friends, and others, of course. So as a business coach, I look at this is pretty much my mission statement. I work with entrepreneurs and business owners to help them achieve work life balance while also buying, building or growing their perfect business by leveraging proven systems and processes, repetitive processes uh, without getting into the name or even you know information on the coaching client that I communicated with today. Uh, they inspired me with their life story and how they were able to uh, put themselves in the position to have a national brand with 40 stores across the US and desires to go global, right? Um, and they just started from humble uh, background, but every time I hear them speak to people, they're positive and they really come from a place of giving a place of you know empowering others and uh you know i'd like to think that we're cut from the same cloth but i have to give them their roses while they are here and uh you know i gave them you know you know i explained to them as their coach you know we want to keep things within the focus of business so that they can grow their business however you know, charity and empowering and helping other people in different ways is a powerful thing, right? Um, and one of the reasons uh, we're able to do that is because we use leverage. And so sharing with them today, the power of leverage, you know, getting a manager, having the manager work, you know, to locate your store while you're able to uh, do other things or expand, you know, from one store to two, two to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. These are formulas and principles that work for anyone. So consider how can you get more leverage in what you're doing? If something is serving you right now, if you're serving others, if you are uh, creating results, because ultimately, Success comes from creating results for others, right? And if you're able to do that in a way that doesn't eat up all your time, you know, I am the investor guy for a reason. 
I'd rather trade money for more money than time for money. I'd rather be able to spend time like I was uh, beyond the coaching time today with uh, a person who's a client and becoming more and more every time we communicate and uh, decide to do business together, a friend, right? And so here's the thing, creating cash flow using leverage. That was a snippet pretty much or a, you know, information about how having a business coach, just like in sports, you have to understand that just the accountability factor of someone else that you're willing to listen to. Now, if you're in a space where you're not willing to listen to or take feedback from another person, then yeah, having a coach might not be the best thing, a coach, a mentor, or what have you. But when you're in that right space and you're looking for something that could 10x multiply, force multiply, the biggest leverage is being able to have the ear of someone who has experience. That is a powerful thing. And so many communities that are looking up or looking at and across do not value the power of a mentor or a coach maybe in sports because they feel that is a specific thing but in all aspects of life if i wanted to become a better cook for my family i would go to a person who's a chef maybe a five-star chef maybe a shoe chef it doesn't matter whoever they are nine times out of ten uh if i needed that guidance they would be a better chef than me and I would have to listen and see what they do. And maybe when I become good enough, I could start adding my ingredients. But I encounter people, you know, I'm sharing with you one person who is a great, <laughs> a great mentee, if you will, uh, takes uh, criticism and feedback, um, always asking questions and trying to evolve themselves, realizing that that person that they are the core of their success, they blame no one, right? They take responsibility for everything. And that is empowering and refreshing, even for me as a coach. But I do encounter other people who do not see the value in having a map, a roadmap to success, a step-by-step, -step, or having someone who has relationships with other people they could introduce to your business to provide that leverage. Trade sports. We talked about that. I created that uh, in order to empower people because uh, I've gotten into the space and it's been like almost more profitable on a per transaction basis than stocks. And in some cases, cryptocurrency, uh, even Forex, like I have uh, Forex investments that multiply or, you know, they increase on a daily basis. But stock investment, whether it's, you know, going long in stocks, shorting stocks or even, you know, options, stock options. You know, I take advantage of having my money make money, right? And I pay experts in order for them to do certain things so I could focus on evolving myself, right? It is Memorial Day coming up, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, my family and I will be, uh, you know, on a trip uh, in count, you know, just having a, a good time with our other relatives and friends uh, long overdue right uh, videos will be uh, placed based on some other things uh, but I should be uh, able to uh, screenshot and have that um, uploaded as far as moon rat and the progress on that and I'll try to take uh, time whether you know lap laptop or on a tablet and just uh, see if I can record that I'll see how that works out I don't know I can't promise anything but yeah moving forward we realize the power of leverage, you know, and uh, the power of leveraging someone else's time and talent and having a coach, having a mentor, having someone uh, that you could, you know, even if it's just accountability, right? Uh, that's a powerful thing. And it produces results the same way, you know, if you talk to uh, top bodybuilders, when they have someone to spot them, uh, not like <laughs> spot them, got them, uh, that's different. But when they have someone to spot them, they pretty much got them. They they're able to uh, lift more weights and produce better results, bigger results. Right. So even if your coach just provides accountability. And I would hope that a coach strives to provide step by step, you know, processes and systems that could benefit you in your journey. Right. But uh, at the same time, if that is not 
something that is there, then, um, yeah, it could just work itself out, right? Now, created trade sports, and the minute it's launched, there are many people that are reaching out to become affiliates. And basically, affiliates mean they would promote my product, my service, and get a piece of the money. So there are so many ways you can create cash flow. I'm bringing this up just to say that you can leverage other people's time and talents. It is my time and talent that created uh, trade sports, that creates trade money ATM and all the other uh, ATM products that created uh, conscientious capital insights. Um, you know, it's basically from me. I'm the foundation of all of that. And still other people can profit from it, right? They can profit from it and utilize my time and my talent my team's experience or rather and and make money and profit right some people have been around for years you see five years three years and now they're able to multiply their bag and grow their finances this is the power of leverage right now what we're working on in the duration is giving them the creatives and the resources like actually feeding back into those who allow me to live the lifestyle that i live and to you know enjoy my family the way i do and not have to you know go to a nine to five and you know basically giving back resources you know making sure they have the proper uh, whether it's seo or video marketing you know um, pay-per-click uh, campaigns uh, giving that to them right that is another piece of leverage. So it's multiple leverages within one business or one position of, of success or, you know, just positive um, affiliation, right? And that's something you can do. I'm going to launch uh, a product that I actually uh, used in the past. I'm going to relaunch basically uh, this product, which shows you how you can create your own thing within one day, right? And then you can achieve similar success whatever success is for you you know my success might be different from yours but it's all success it all has value it all has meaning right um, now I want to take the time now that you see this to step into moon rat all right so we talked about transparency the market is actually bouncing back uh, if you're a part of the group like you know, uh, whether it's trade money ATM, which has pretty much way more power than um, most things that I see out there in the world, um, you would have been able to take advantage of AMC weeks in advance. Like it was a setup that was uh, perceived by one of our associates, Tiffany. Um, she did the research. Uh, you know, I taught her how to do some things. She went through and was able to say, OK, I see where AMC is going. And um, me being the expert, <laughs> you know, the uh, person uh, in a certain position, I then went and looked and said, okay, I can see what's happening here. Um, beyond YOLO groups and other areas where people are promoting, um, you know, it's just when, when there's many things happening to push something forward, the same as leverage, then it has a momentous move. And that's what's happening with AMC. And so the numbers that I predicted or shared uh, came to pass like within 24 hours, right? Um, and if you look at a previous video, I go over how I look at things. I don't even have to chart. I look at things based on historical information and history repeats itself in the markets, right? So here we are with Moonrat. It, you know, there's a lot of things that can make something not work or work. I love the project and that's what it is. My numbers are increasing here from 50 billion to 51.2 billion. This number will be 52 billion, right? The reward pool goes up and down, whether people, you know, if people buy or sell, this number increases for me as a holder, right? The number here is lower than yesterday, I believe, um, but it changes and it went all the way to like 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.008 or point something like it. It's 12 now or one now. It was lower than this before is what I'm saying, right? And still, it is amazing how if I was there at the beginning. XYO is a token I shared with people inside the group, how to get it free, a lot of other things. Um, 
you know, where you were able to, to get that token. It went up almost 200% today, right? So because I'm in the market and uh, people that are part of Trade Money ATM, they're able to take advantage of those plays as they come along and we see them. But it's history repeating itself. For years, it was something that I built up a bag, um, maybe, you know, 70,000 or more. And it then turned around to where in time, up and down, we were able to just hold and because the group or the team, just like any business, you can invest in a business, the business fails, you lose your money. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm just being transparent and sharing with you the journey of a crypto millionaire. That's it. So you can see it for yourself, right? XYO or Binance token. I'm telling people Binance, 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 Binance. The dip was there, it was huge. Of course i love uh bitcoin ethereum all of that but binance i've been you know standing on my my uh, platform and just screaming out binance 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 other things have been popping off for people and that's fine but there is a historical <laughs> reason why i am looking at binance now there will be something that i'm going to share privately with uh the core members and the last thing that was similar to this paid out to billion dollars so it has to do with binance uh in this iteration and i'll be disclosing that whether i disclose it on this channel um, i have to really think about it there's so many things going on as the laws are being made today and just by the cuff you see what's happening with ripple xrp but yeah this is the journey it is what it is uh may not get there with you you know people have been around uh some people are no longer around um, it's just what it is. But me being the person that I am, I stay focused. I am the investor guy. Making money, make money. That's my thing. And I appreciate you today. Thank you for spending the day with me. Uh, hopefully this video inspires, empowers, or entertains you, whatever it does. Like if it's positive, then it's good. And if it's not, then hey, let's just keep it moving. We're part of the Be About It committee and not the Talk About It committee, right? So with love and everything that's positive for you for me across time and space i am out the investor guy deuces i gotta stay on a positive vibe all my people's gotta stay on a positive vibe you know the negativity just brings failure you know and we ain't trying to fail in this game we're trying to succeed oh.